What's happening my YouTube crew? Welcome back to the Absolute Hottest channel on YouTube. It is an absolute beautiful day, guys. I am out here with Abel on the golf course taking a shit as usual. We are fixing to go to the gym to smash back. Stay tuned. I got no rules, I count them. All right, my crew, we're gonna get started with some wide grip pull-ups. I don't expect the new people in the crew to get started with the pull-ups right away. You have to work your way up, guys. You may need to use the assisted pull-up bar or have somebody hold you and help you with your knees raising you up and down. Either way, get the shit done, guys. We're gonna start off with a wide grip. Make sure you have a real nice grip so your ass don't slip up off these freaking machines and bust your head right open on the ground. Get a good, nice grip, a wide grip, and then we're going to move into a closer grip, which is going to target the inside of your back as opposed to the lats. So you want to make sure that you come up, explode up, guys. And if you never exploded in your life, I feel bad for you guys. <laughs> for all my dudes out there, you know what I'm talking about. You got to explode up, guys. And if you don't believe me, ask your old lady. If she don't know if you ever exploded before, then she might have to reanalyze the whole relationship. But yeah, so explode up and come down nice and slowly, guys, and really push for that last rep. Next, we're going to jump into a seated medium grip pull down. And all my exercises, guys, I typically do four sets of 10 to 12 reps. But you can, by all means, guys, if you want to put in a little more mass, you can go a little bit higher in reps, 15 uh, 15, 16 reps, uh, if you're trying to get cut up, if you're trying to gain some strength, you can go down 6 to 8 reps. I typically like to do 10 to 12, but by all means, do whatever feels best for you. Right after that, we're going to jump into a wide grip seated pull down. This one, guys, is a little more challenging. The further your hands are from the center, it's going to be, a, it's going to feel a little bit more complicated to do it. However, I do feel that this one works extremely well uh, when you're targeting your back and your lats. I personally, I like to keep my ass real planted and seated because if not, your ass might jump up off the seat. If you're doing a whole lot of weight, guys, believe me, it's been done before. I've seen some crazy ass videos with these freaking people jumping off of them seats. And next, we're going to jump straight into a close grip, pull down, seated, guys. Once again, please make sure your ass is on them seats. I don't want to see no crazy ass videos of you on YouTube trying to mimic this shit and you jumping up off them seats and busting your head wide open or busting your damn kneecaps. So make sure you keep your ass planted, guys. You want to make sure you keep your grip real nice and tight and go straight towards your chest. You want to hit your nipples, guys. That's exactly what you want to do. You want to hit your nipples close to the nipple region, but don't rip your shit up right off your chest. Always try to maintain focus on what you're doing, guys. You don't want to just start slinging the weight back and forth. Yeah, that might help. Uh, you know, if you're trying to get some heavy ass weight up, but to gain some muscle, believe me, guys, it's not going to help. It's not going to help you to do sloppy form and just be all over the gym. People going to look at you like you freaking retarded. So make sure that you keep it nice and controlled, contract the muscle and come up slowly. Next, we're going to jump straight into rows for the dirty, disgusting hoes. And guys, I'm at Planet Fitness. And as you can see, there's not enough freaking weight in there, guys. There's only goes up to 75 pounds. I typically like to do 100 plus pounds, so what I did was take the 75 pound dumbbell and then add a 20 pound dumbbell to it, so I'm really hitting 95 pounds as opposed to the 75 pounds, which most people feel like they're limited to at Planet Fitness. This one, guys, make sure you keep it nice and controlled. I typically do a different variation. I keep my opposing leg on the actual bench and then keep the leg closest to the arm that's doing the movement towards the back a lot of people do it a little bit differently guys but this is what feels comfortable for me and like i always say in all my videos you have to do what's freaking comfortable for you don't be doing some crazy ass shit just because some big ass bodybuilders are doing it if it doesn't feel right you're probably gonna snap your freaking back up or you're gonna really mess up your ligaments and you're gonna mess all your shit up and all your gains and you're gonna be crying for the next three to four weeks so make sure you keep your form good guys and make sure that you're focused on what you're freaking doing come up real nice and slow and go down real nice and slow. And that's what's really going to contract the muscle. Next, we're going to jump into seated machine rows. This one I personally don't like too, too much, guys. But like I said, we're limited at Planet Fitness and the machines that we have. So we have to work with what we got, guys. That's If you got nasty ass weights back home and that's the only thing you have, believe me, those will work. This machine's a little bit finicky. Sometimes if you're doing heavy, heavy weight, it seems like one side gets more weight than the other. However, uh, if, you know, if you're going a little bit lighter and controlled, this machine can definitely work wonders for your back. Just make sure that you keep it 
really nice and controlled, contract the muscle, and make sure that you adjust the seats, because if you do not adjust the seats, guys, it's not going to work for you. I see a lot of people on these machines that don't know what the hell they're doing. They just sit on it after a freaking giant spin on it, and it's not going to work for you. And last but not least, guys, we're going to finish off strong with good mornings. I typically like to do this last or deadlifts. However, this one seems to really work my back out and keeps my ass and dimples looking real nice. If you're a little bit more advanced, you can do 45 pounds. I love you guys. Stay tuned for more awesome videos. Peace.